This next problem is fairly straightforward. Um, this is number 10, I believe, from the study guide. It says, calculating delta G in a rat liver cell. So calculate the free energy of hydrolysis of ATP in a rat liver cell in which ATP, ADP, and PI concentrations are 3.4, 1.3, and 4.8 millimolar, respectively. Now, the study guide does this calculation at both 27, I'm sorry, 25 and 37 degrees C. But since we're in a rat liver cell, I'm going to go ahead and do this calculation at 37 degrees C only. So from table 3.3, we can look up that the delta G naught prime uh, for a, a hydrolysis of ATP is negative 30.5 kilojoules per mole. And again, I'm going to assume that uh, we are at 37 degrees C. So we can go ahead, this is a pretty straightforward calculation, where we can say delta, sorry, delta G is equal to delta G naught prime plus RT ln of ADP times PI over ATP. All right. And um, hmm. the concentration of ATP is equal to 3.4 millimolar. The concentration of ADP is equal to 1.3 millimolar and PI is equal to 4.8 millimolar and we found that the delta G naught prime is negative 30.5 kilojoules per mole so then we can calculate the delta G at 37 is equal to negative 30.5 and we've got that in kilojoules per mole plus 8.314 times 10 to the negative third kilojoules because we got that in kilojoules per mole times 273 plus 37 is 310 times the ln of 1.3 times 10 to the negative third times 4.8 times 10 to the negative third because that's in millimolar okay over 3.4 times 10 to the negative third <coughs> Okay, so that gives us negative 30.5 plus 2.57734 ln of 1.835 times 10 to the negative third equals negative 30.5 minus 16.24 equals negative 46.7 kilojoules per mole. Alright, thanks for watching.